So what were things that uh, were strategies that further spread commercial mediation in the U.S.? One is industry-specific pre-dispute resolution uh, tools. Uh, for example, CPR got together a group of insurers in 1997 and said, it doesn't make sense. These are inter-insurer disputes that uh, are taking a long time. They're litigated. They, they're, it's just a waste. And they signed a protocol, not unlike the pledge that I talked about before, that defined how you could mediate inter-insurer disputes. And that has been in use ever since. And there's so many other examples of industry-specific situations where they get together and they say, mediation makes more uh, sense in this circumstance, and let's talk about how it can apply to our situation. Uh, contract drafting, the step you heard a little bit uh, earlier about uh, mediation in a clause, what we call a stepped clause. So first you negotiate, senior uh, business leaders get together and negotiate, then you mediate, and from there you can either go to arbitration or litigation. That was very effective in getting over the sign of weakness problem and getting people to accept the thought of mediation at some point in the process.